maggot therapy. Not the debridement of the wound. The wedding dress decanted of the bones and snow-blown skin of a bride circling through the splinters of winter. The ash and orchard of a gray heaven surrounding the tumble of guests leaking out into the night to wish her slawing off of dress and wound. Well, no, not this debridement which is greeted with cake and symbol and the calling on of a master and god which is perhaps the dusk erasing itself from day, the healthy skin of night pulled taut over the bone clots of stars, the chronic fever of noon driven off like the fox to the farthest blue hills, the fever kept there, hidden, hot, and vigilant in the fox's mouth, which is perhaps the debridement I have been looking for, something that will linger inside a suicide and eat around the bullet still thrumming against the salt and clatter of a brother's brain, which is now below the bob and tether of an ocean that opens itself like a wound. Maggot, how lightly you travel through the ribs of beggars and barns, kings and convents. How often they've misnamed your benevolence. Teach me again that I do not own this body that walks me over this snow and cracked pavement, the winter light pulling at my bare ankles. Teach me what to do with the dead I carry in my mouth. Teach me to travel light with their bodies in my belly.